Five Snow Fairies, said Rachel Walker in a delight voice. This is the most snow we have ever had in Timpington. Her best friend, Trusty Tate, rubbed the snow off her mittens and smiled. She had come to stay with Rachel after the end of the autumn term. They had spent all afternoon building the snow fairies, and it was starting to get dark. I wish they were real, Trusty said. Being together again had given them a chance to talk about their most recent adventure in Fairyland. Jack Frost had stolen the magical objects that belonged to the festival fairies. He was planning his own festival, which he called Frost Day, and he wanted to steal as many ideas he could from Diwali, Hanukkah, Eid, and Buddha Day. Rachel and Trusty had helped Dina, the Diwali fairy, to get her Diya back, but there were still three magical objects missing, and three other fairies whose festivals were in danger. I really thought we had have a, vi- a visit from Hannah, the Hanuta fairy, said Rachel. Hanuta, the Jewish festival of light was nearly over, and they had not seen a single speck of magic. The girls did not know when or if Hannah would need them. The back door opened, and Mr. Water came out carrying a box. Girls, you, would you take this over to, the, to Abidot's house, he said. I promised her, her that I make some donuts for their Hanukkah celebration tonight. They say you could stay for the ceremony if you like. Yes, please," said Rachel. "What kind of donuts?" said Trusty, peeping into the box. <coughs> Ooh, jam, yum. In Hebrew, they are called saf. Daniot, said Mr. Walker, I believe that there are all sorts of delicious things to eat at a Hanukkah party. Eagerly, the girls took the box and walked down the street. Snow started to fall again. Is Abigail in your class? Trusty asked. No, she goes to a different school, said Rachel, but our dads are friends. So we play together sometimes. Abigail lived in a tall red brick house on the corner of the street. Rachel and Trusty ran up the steps and knocked on the green wooden door. They heard running footsteps, and then the door was flung open by a slim girl with bob black hair. Hello, Rachel. Are those the sarcaniot? She asked. My favorite. This is my best friend Trusty," said Rachel. "She is staying with me for a few days." Just then, there was a burst of singing from inside the house. Abido smiled. "Come in," she said. "We are setting out the food for the party later. Lots of people are coming over to celebrate the eighth night of Hanukkah." "Thanks. We love to," said Rachel. They kick the snow off their boots, put off their woolly hats, and step inside. Abigail took them to the kitchen, where they met her mom, and dad, and her little sister Miriam. The house was decorated with hundreds of tiny lights. It reminds me of Diwali," said Trusty, remembering the little lanterns that her friend Kirin had strung around his house. Yes. They are both festivals of light," said Abigail's mom. Hanukkah celebrates a victory and a miracle in Jewish history. Miriam tugged at their sleeve. "Would you like to play dreidel with me?" she asked. "I like to, but I don't know how," said Trusty. "Would you like to show us?" The girls put the. Sarcaniot on the large plate, 
Then Miriam put them into the sitting room. The first thing they saw was a special candle holder on a table by the window. That reminds me of Hannah the Hanukkah fairy's magical object. Trusty whispered in Rachel's ear. It looks just the, s- the same. That is our Hanukia, Abido explained. It holds nine candles in the room, and we light an extra candle for every night of Hanukkah. I thought Hanukkah lasted for eight nights, said Rachel. Why are there nine candles? The space in the middle is for the helper candle, said Abigail. We use it to light the others. Miriam showed them a small spinning top with four sides. This is a dreidel, she said, giving it a spin. There are lots of traditions around Hanukkah, said Abigail. We always play dreidel with the grown-ups. And there are presents, said Miriam. Spinning the dreidel again. Do not forget those. Yes, our family give gifts every night of Hanukkah, said Abigail, smiling at her excited little sister. Chocolate coins and books and games, said Miriam, twirling around. And the yummiest food, my favorites are the donuts. Abigail handed Rachel a dreidel. Here. You have a turn, she said. Miriam Abigail called her mother from the kitchen. Could you come and take a few plates through, please? The sisters hurried out and Rachel and Trusty practiced spinning the dreidel. From then the sitting room door creaked and someone giggled. The girls looked up, expecting to see Abigail and Miriam. Instead, they saw a mysterious green face peeping around the door at them. Oh my goodness, said Trusty, that is a goblin.